So we like to start off just seeing what you're working on now. How how did puppetry start for you? Is, is there any way people can get in contact with you, or how can they follow you? Yeah, we'd love to kind of hear if you've got a good puppeteer story, something that gave you puppet tears. So many things that have gone wrong <laughs> recently, as a matter of fact. Whoever you guys want to handle it, and I'm happy to talk about anything like with that show you probably just had to kind of trust the camera people more can you talk about getting able to show off the extra sides of a character that you really had for the longest yeah. was that planned was that cast was that something you two like working together can you talk about just where you your head was in deciding like i'm going to be the guy who films all this stuff as much as i'm sure you were honored and happy to do it to carry on that legacy do you almost feel like you would have had fun exploring more new characters did you ever notice that that ability to manipulate the puppet tool allowed you new insights into the characters that maybe didn't exist before is there any special moment or about jim that maybe you've never shared before can you talk about that experience of at the same time that you're reconciling with their death that you're also really needing to rediscover them so you could keep their characters alive there was there a certain specific thing though that was like the straw that broke the back what did you kind of see as your legacy did you have any thought of of recasting the characters I mean, there's nothing that's off limits, so we can talk about whatever you like and, and whatever. Yeah, it's cool. Sounds great. All right. Perfect. Welcome back to Puppeteers. We're your hosts, Adam Krutinger. And Cameron Garriott.